Obviously, that was one of the fun facts I learned that you go into stand-up comedy because because uh, Bridges was like, "Hey, Darren, the world needs you." No, I was doing a gig with him, and he told us to to pursue it more. Oh, was it? Aye? Is that what yeah. happened? Because I I, re I read this in the papers again, and they'll fucking print any shit these days. So they print anything, mate. They take an ele they take an element of truth and they and they twist it. Allegedly. Yeah. So I was gigging <laughs> with him and I had to pull a sickie. Mm. And I thought I was going to get the sack. And he said to me, why are you worried about getting the sack? You should be doing stand-up comedy. And then when he told me that, I thought, I should be doing stand-up comedy. And then that's when I decided, fuck it. All in? Yeah. How, how, how did that feel? Because I'm, so I'm still in the working part-time. Obviously, I've only been doing stand-up for two years, but like I'm getting a couple of paid gigs now, and there's bits and bobs, and I'm I'm doing like gong shows, and I've got like I'm doing three at the end of January in like five days. Yeah, I'm excited but dreading it at the same time because I might get if I'm lucky, I get a full five minutes set out of those three yeah. shows. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so I think I was I was wondering of like how how did you feel? How did you know it was time to make that switch of like right? Let's go pro. Well, and obviously it's not—it's not like you—you you never did ba your toes back into like having a day job from time to time. But. Yeah, and I would always say like, if you've got an opportunity of working, take it, because like in this game that we're in, you won't really gig on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So if you can get a job Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then gig Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I would say go for it. I just naturally kind of went into full time. I was really, basically what was happening was like, all these workplaces are going towards zero hour contracts. And when I was working in a supermarket, it wasn't quite zero hour yet. So I worked Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, in some shoes, nearly six days a week I was working. And then over the space of two to three years, it was Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then it went right down to Sunday, every Sunday. I couldn't get any overtime. And then I got Scott Squad. And I, I basically looked at my last three or four wage slips and I was like, I'm getting paid more doing comedy than I'm getting paid working in this supermarket. And then I just thought, fuck it. I mean, that doesn't mean that I've, I've had jobs since then, like with COVID and stuff, I, I got a job as a window cleaner, which I really enjoyed doing. But... Yeah, I've just kind of kept hustling and kind of going with the flow and I need to do, you know, you do acting, panto, writing, you might write for other people. Have you been doing that as well? Not recently, but I've done it. Uh, I'm genuinely curious because like you always want to be aware of like mate, different you need things. to do, see in Scotland you do everything, whatever. I couldn't just be a full time comedian you need to do it there I've got my podcast I've got a patron for my podcast like if you figure it out you run nights you do solo shows but it's took a long time for me to get there uh, sometimes you do really well and like the self-employed life sometimes you're you're fucked but mm. I've been so so far so good like that I've been doing all right 